What's up, y'all? My name is Devonte, and I sacrifice my time so you don't have to. Pretty, pretty interesting news. So I just got a notification from Bleacher Report, but I'm going to read it from Wrestling Inc. Because I always feel that Wrestling Inc. goes a little bit more in-depth. Not to mention, I like looking at the comments sometimes because you get in real time how people are reacting to the situation. And Wrestling Inc., at least to me from the other wrestling websites that I like, usually look at, it seems like they have more engagement within their comment section than any other wrestling website out there. And again, I like to gauge that to see like, oh, okay, well... He feels that way. She feels that way. He feels that way. She feels that way. In my opinion, I, you know, it's just a it's just a healthy environment. I like doing shit like that. So I'm going to read this from Wrestling Inc. And then we'll talk about this afterwards. Backstage report on likelihood of Cody Rhodes main eventing WWE WrestleMania 2024. Link is down in the description box if you want to follow along. It's looking increasingly like that Cody. Ooh, what the hell? Let me try it back again. So, okay. Sorry. Uh, Allahu Akbar. Okay. It's looking increasingly likely that Cody Rhodes won't finish his story at WWE WrestleMania 40. A new report from Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated, citing sources close to Paul Triple H Levesque, states that Rhodes isn't set to wrestle in the main event or compete for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at this year's big event. Rose WrestleMania position is not exactly a total surprise considering the increasing like it likelihood that Dwayne Dura Johnson is, re is returning to wrestle his cousin Roman Reigns. Still, there have been holding out hope that Rose would get his rematch against Reigns in April despite Johnson's presence. This past Monday on WWE Raw, Rose was involved in a segment with CM Punk that drew exceptional viewership both on TV and online. The Sports Illustrated report indicates that a Rhodes Punk matchup is likely taking place at WrestleMania. Mm. However, it's unclear if this information from sources or speculation based upon what occurred during Raw. Since his 2022 WWE return, Rhodes has been intent on finishing the story started by his father, Dusty Rhodes. Though he climbed to the peak of the industry, Dusty never captured the WWE Championship, a title that is today represented to the by the undisputed Universal WWE Championship. Gotta put that gotta put my goddamn glasses on. All right, there we go. Much better. Now I can see. Rhodes had a chance in last year's main event, but the former AEW star fell short against Reigns. Though many felt confident Rhodes would return to the main event this year, if the report is correct, his quest seems to have been delayed by the arrival of Johnson. Whatever decision is made concerning WrestleMania's two main events, fans will have at least some additional information after this weekend. The 2024 WWE Royal Rumble will take place this Saturday, and as always, the winners of the two Battle Royals will have an opportunity to challenge for the title of their choice on the grandest stage of them all. Uh, that's going to piss a lot of people off. I, I, it's going to piss a lot of people off. And I guess, man, has there, I got to think about that. Maybe during the Attitude Era, I'm not sure. Have you guys ever seen so many change-ups leading to a, not a WrestleMania, but leading up to a Royal Rumble before a WrestleMania like you've seen right now? And obviously, some of these things are just... You know, circumstances, right? Whether you have The Rock returning to WWE, which completely just like came out of the blue. And it's like, okay, well, if Rock is coming back and WrestleMania 40 is on the horizon, you know, and then Seth Rollins messes up his knee and then CM Punk returns at Survivor Series. There's just so much shit going on right now. That's just kind of probably fucking up the original plans from the looks of it. How I would have probably thought this was going to go, let's say back in like August, like around SummerSlam time. Let's say directly after SummerSlam, how I envisioned the road to WrestleMania being, or at least what was going to take place coming out of the Royal Rumble. I envisioned it was going to be Cody Rose versus Roman Reigns. And I assumed it was going to be Seth Rollins versus someone like a 
for Gunther. Like, I thought maybe Gunther was going to be the one to win the Royal Rumble. And mind you, the Royal Rumble hasn't happened yet. We don't know. We don't know. I'm, I'm probably willing to bet that Gunther's not winning the Royal Rumble now, but we don't know still. But how I thought this was going to go was maybe Gunther was going to be the one to win the Royal Rumble and he was going to go against Seth Rollins and then Cody Rose because he's trying to finish his story. You're not going to have him win back to back Royal Rumbles. He was somehow going to try to find his place inside WrestleMania by winning the Elimination Chamber, which I don't know. I would have been OK with that because, you know, at least for me, I know it's happened in the past plenty of times, but I'm one of those guys. I'm a traditionalist. You win the Royal Rumble, your main event WrestleMania. And I'm not talking about night one. I'm talking about the real 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 main event that that is wrestlemania night two that's the main event that's the last match of the entire pay-per-view not last match of the entire show that night last match of the entire pay-per-view event as a whole and apparently that doesn't really seem to be the case that's going to happen going forward what it looks like at least from the outside looking in especially after that promo with cody rose and cm punk and with seth rollins you don't know what the fuck is going to happen but from the looks of it if Seth Rollins is good, and it looks like they can go either way on this when it comes to Gunther, but what it looks like, and I could be wrong, it's probably going to be The Rock versus, especially after The Rock now joined the board of directors, oh, that's pretty much a done deal, that's a given, it's going to be Rock and Roman Reigns, you guys who want to see Cody and Roman so badly, hey man, I don't know what to tell you, but that's a done deal, that's it, unless they're going to do something stupid, like I keep seeing everybody talk about, oh, do Cody and Roman on night one and do the winner of that match versus The Rock on night two, no, shut the fuck up, that's stupid, it's fucking dumb, why the fuck do I want to see Roman Reigns back to back nights, that's fucking dumb, bro, you're just you're just minimizing the potential of what a match can actually be by going out of your way to like like constantly show it over and over again that's fucking dumb bro i hate people who think like that no it's stupid but um back to what i was saying though what it looks like as far as what's gonna go forward in the future it looks like it's gonna be rock and roman it probably will be cody versus cm punk and it might be seth and gunther if seth's okay and again, there's a back door for Gunther. It's either going to be Seth and Gunther, Intercontinental Champion versus World Champion, and that's going to probably main event night one. Or if Seth isn't okay by that point, they're probably going to back door themselves out, and it's going to be Gunther versus Brock Lesnar. That's what it looks like is going to happen, which I'm perfectly fine with. I think that's actually a pretty decent car. People may sit there and they may maul, they may grieve, they may pull their hair, fall and go out. Wah, we can't get Cody to finish his story. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, baby bitch. Nah, I'm okay with this. I'm perfectly fine with this. I'm perfectly good with that. Personally, I thought Cody and CM Punk had one hell of a motherfucking promo last Monday. Eh, I'll take that back. Eh, not really. I want to say one hell. It was a good promo. Again, I still felt it was somewhat disappointing because of the things that I personally wanted them to touch. But objectively, it was a good promo. But, but if they're actually going to have a WrestleMania match, this is just scratching the surface of the potential of what we can get going forward out of some of these promos. And to be quite frank, although I would much prefer a Seth Rollins in the CM Punk feud, uh, Cody is much better than Seth Rollins in the microphone. So again, the potential to do more on the microphone is just sitting right there. So personally speaking and not to mention because of the stuff that Seth Rollins is going to do I don't know I, I mean people may have their own different opinions as far as how they um like to map out their wrestlers I personally think that Cody Rhodes is a better wrestler than Seth Rollins that's just my opinion I know people may be like well Devontae can Cody Rhodes do a springboard yada yada first off he can do a springboard yada 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 but I mean like in terms of the fundamentals as far as how he actually engages with his match the storytelling elements i personally find cody rose to be a better worker than seth rollins some people may have a different opinion so i personally go into this and i think to myself with seth rollins and cm punk i honestly think and that, it's not to say that seth rollins and punk will be a bad match it's not to say that i don't even want to see that match personally speaking get that match ready for SummerSlam if seth's not prepared or if they're really going to go with seth and gunther title versus title a la warrior and hogan night one main event okay i'm cool with that but Cody and CM Punk, I'm perfectly fine with. And more importantly, you guys seem to get over it, bro. It's Rock and Roman. 
I know you guys may sit there, you may seethe. Uh, we don't want to see the Rocket in Mini Universal Mania. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see the Rocket in Mini Universal Mania. No, sorry, bro. It's a bigger marquee. It's gonna most likely be Rock's last WrestleMania. I'm sorry. And you guys can sit there all you want to and be like, well, Devontae is not gonna be a good match. That's cool. That's your criteria as far as how you like to engage your professional wrestling. I like to engage in my professional wrestling with the pomp and circumstances. Do I think Rock and Roman are gonna go out there and kill it in a match? No, but guess what? We're watching AEW tonight and I can watch as many matches tonight, kill it, and they could probably do whatever they want over the weekend and then we'll probably get it on SmackDown the following week. We'll get it on Raw the next week. We'll get it on the next PLE. We'll get Get on the next AEW pay per view, we can get on TNA, we can get on Pro Wrestling Gorilla, we can get it on Shikara, we can get it on fucking War Romance, we can get it anywhere in fucking Japan, we can get it anywhere in fucking Mexico. My point being is, I don't give a fuck about the motherfucking wrestling. What I care about is creating memories. What I care about is the build. What I care about is the end, it's the interests. What I care about is the storyline in itself. People need to understand when it comes to professional wrestling, especially when dealing with championship belts, it's all about the chase. That's it. it's all about the chase. All right, there's a reason why Stone Cold Steve Austin never really held the championship belt that long. There's a reason why The Rock is a perfect example of a person who never held the championship belt that long. Because the whole point of them holding the belt was giving you a conclusion to the climax that peaked, that got you engaged with the storyline in itself. So they're going to run that back again as far as them chasing the championship belt. The same thing can be said even without a championship belt. No one cares in the end of the day of what's going to go down in regards to, well, what's going to happen to me? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, we don't care about the sequence of moves that are going to happen in the fucking match. What I care about is the actual match in itself. And I personally, in my opinion, want to see the tribal chief, tribal chief, who's going to be the first tribal chief, who's going to be the current tribal chief, tribal whatever, see the best story. I do care about that. I do want to see that. I do think the potential for great promos are right there. I do think the potential for some great vignettes, some great promo packages is there. And I think the pomp and circumstances that are surrounding that and actually going out of your way to broaden your perspective to understand where this is coming from and where we're going towards. Understand that with a Rock and a Roman Reigns in the main event, not only is that going to, oh, Devontae, WrestleMania is already sold out. Yes, yeah, sold out as far as tickets. Take into account the people who are going to buy the pay-per-view, you dumb fuck the people are going to buy those ple's the people are going to subscribe to the network to watch that now imagine how many people are going to see your favorite wrestler for some fucking god awful reason you have one today in wwe imagine how many people are going to see those wrestlers now you just now you just now open a huge door for those wrestlers to be seen think about the potential storylines that you now don't have to go out of your way to make into one or two matches now you just spread the wealth now because you're not going to do cody and roman now we don't get rock right now you're going to put gunther in the match with brock lesnar which could be really really good yeah true 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 yeah you could have probably got cm punk and seth rollins but guess what now you got Rock and Roman, which leads Cody to go feud with CM Punk, which leads Gunther to potentially go against Seth Rollins or go against Brock Lesnar. And if he misses one or the other, that other wrestler, whether it's Seth Rollins, who's unfortunately out, and then we get another superstar to step up to the plate, or if he does wrestle with Seth Rollins, that leads Brock Lesnar to go lend his star power over to somebody else and probably help get them over. The possibilities are endless. But of course, we're so fixated on this, this specific goal. It has to, we have to finish the story with Cody Rhodes. The story has to finish at WrestleMania. The story, the story, the fucking story. I'm tired of fucking Cody's story. I like Cody Rhodes, mind you. I like him. But let's not pretend in the end of the day that Cody Rose is some huge mega star that has all this potential in the fucking world. He has the attributes. I will give you that. He has the credentials to a certain degree. I will give you that. But let's not sit here and pretend that Cody Rose is some enigma, enig some, 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 some super enigma. Let's not pretend that Cody is a John Cena or a Rock or an Austin or a Hogan. He's not. He's not even a Brock. He's not even a Brock Lesnar or Orton or Batista. He's not even a Shawn Michaels and a Bret Hart. Maybe he'll get there. Probably will get there. The path seems pretty clear that he will get there eventually. 
But all this talk about this bland story and all this other shit. What story? What, they get another program like we got last year? One of the most boring road to WrestleMania's I've ever seen a main event or ever fucking have? Like, it was like the reverse Randy Orton and Triple H at WrestleMania 25. The fucking storyline for Randy and Triple H kicked ass, and then we had the match, and that kicked my ass. And then you have this right here, where the match actually was pretty damn good for WrestleMania last year, but the bill for it was absolutely garbaggio. And like I said, we live in 2024 right now. I'm okay. I'm, I'm willing to substitute the matches for the storyline. I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. But, hey, that's just me. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Devante, I don't think you understand the intricacy that goes into the story. Let Cody fill in his story at WrestleMania. The Rock and Roman Reigns can have their match at a B pay-per-view for fucking people to watch in some bumfuck USA town knockoff called fucking Australia. Deep down under where you have kangaroos, fucking possums, and dingoes in a goddamn three-way. Yeah, totally. I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with waking up at God knows what hour just like the rest of fucking America waking up at God knows what hour to watch The Rock's last match about as, about as under the influence from lack of sleep as your mom did when she gave birth to your stupid ass no I'm okay with that I'm perfectly fine with that that's not okay with me you can have that dream you can cope with that dream but from the looks of it kind of seems like your dreams are about to get crushed and can't lie man there's a part of me that's probably gonna watch you type in the comment section with your little fingers take some of that dirt and get it on your keyboards and then you're gonna you're gonna post that comment and then i'm gonna look at that comment and you think i'm gonna respond to your comment no 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 i don't respond to opinions what i rather do when you cope with your shitty negative opinion that's fine you can have that what i rather do is get freaky and jack off to it Jack off to your motherfucking misery. Oh, yeah, I'm jacking off to your motherfucking misery. So, with that being said, because I'm a fucking psychopath, let me get the fuck out of here and go watch that Ben Shapiro and Destiny debate, because that shit kicked a lot of ass. I actually recommend you guys go do the exact same thing. And, uh, yeah. Cope, bitches. As always, my name is Devontae, and I'll be catching you guys later on tonight for the Dynamite Review. Douches and a motherfucking P. Ash. <laughs> <laughs>